Now I'm gonna introduce you to a concept known as the gut-brain-skin axis. Now this is a very hot topic in research circles right now. So I think the easiest way to explain this is if I walk you through this figure, starting with the brain. Now psychological stress, so that could be anything your brain registers as stress. It could be a fight with a coworker, um, a friend, it could be meeting a deadline. Stress alone, or in combination with refined, processed comfort foods, devoid of fiber, our typical Western diet, have been shown to slow down digestion. They slow motility in the gut. Now when that happens, it creates a shift in the type of bacteria that are in our gut. So we end up getting an overgrowth of one or two unhealthy strains that crowd out the healthy bacteria and they create inflammation in the gut. Now when that happens, it actually makes our intestinal lining, it, it makes it more permeable. It compromises the barrier, the lining of our intestines, which is basically known as a leaky gut. So what happens is, is that the, the toxins, the bad stuff that's supposed to be maintained housed within our intestines and ultimately excreted in the potty, ends up actually being released into our bloodstream. And it triggers inflammation system-wide and it triggers inflammation in the skin. So in someone who's genetically prone to acne, this whole cascade can lead to a flare of your acne. And someone who's genetically prone to eczema or rosacea, this cascade leads to a flare of their eczema or their rosacea. And pretty much in, in all of us, in everyone who's you know, multitasking, maybe not sleeping the way that we normally should, so we're experiencing chronic stress, and maybe our diet, maybe we're not feeding our microbiomes the way we should, in all of us, it manifests in the skin as premature aging.